Hey everyone, what is up? It's Jen here from Jen's Beauty Room. Woo woo! On Facebook, you better know it. And I haven't done a video in a long time, but I have been playing with a lot of new products, and so I wanted to go live here, although I can't do that quite yet because I got a streak on my account. But anyway, so I'm gonna upload this video today. I'm gonna do January, February, Dopes and Nopes. And I'm going to review products that I have gotten so far in this year from Sephora, Unique, and I think there's an Ulta in here too. So it's all three stores and it's a lot, but I'm going to talk fast and we're going to move quickly. All right. Um, first, I want to talk about some of the line of things that Sephora has out and I do love them. So one, they have a moisturizer, but I forgot to grab it from upstairs. It's this cute little rose thing. It's got this same color and stuff on it. So the rose moisturizer is my favorite. It's lightweight, but it's really good for oily skin. So definitely go and grab that. Um, I wanna say before I go any further, if you are a loyal watcher, thank you, and click that like button. And if you're new to my channel, please click subscribe click the bell so anytime I upload a video you'll be there for it okay okay now then back to the serious stuff my cellular water has been on sale for the last month or two these little things are only four dollars and it works better with the Sephora makeup wipes first and then go back through with the milk and it literally takes every single particle of makeup off of your face so you need those um, they also have a new mist, this rose water mist. Oh my God, it's such a great refresh. Love it. Okay, so grab some of those as well. These are only, um, I think, $7.50. Same price as the makeup wipe, so super affordable. I love Sephora for that. Okay, next I want to talk about what they've had on sale. And this is House of Lashes. Now, it comes with this pair of lashes here, but these are the ones I have on. Flirt are my favorite. I have tons of these. What is so great about this, because you definitely want to buy it, is that it comes with two House of Sephora glues, and the black one is my fave. This is less than $25. So if you find this on the sale, definitely grab the House of Sephora lashes, okay? Holiday is great. Now then, Sephora also has this mask set out. It had a red one and a yellow one in it. This little baby right now is $11, $11 for four masks. And the masks are usually six to eight, depending on if they're having a sale, if it's a sheet mask, or if it's just the clay mask. So this is $11 for four masks. So you definitely want to go and get that. That's a yes. All right, so then let's talk about um, some of the 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 points that you can redeem they have those as well so the needles here um dr brant needles no more i've been using it i'm not a fan it has not been doing anything for my under eyes so that's a nope um they also have a little sample of the Too faced better than sex and this stuff is really good i love unique mascara but this gives you a little va va volume so this is definitely a yes so if you have points for sephora pick that up this next one is a points as well. It's a Kat Von D. It's lovesick and a liquid lipstick. And this is a middle of the road for me. They go on and they stay and they're really nice. They bleed through. They're really messy. So I love them because I love Kat. But maybe save your points on that one. Okay. Everybody is going crazy about the gold. Okay. So first it was Fenty, Rihanna. Yes, I got it. Yes, I wear it. And now it's Bite. So Bite has made the gold lip. You can also get a gold lip from Too Faced and they also have the liner. But this does go on really well by itself as a top coat, not so much. But I do like it. I do like the gold and I think it's gonna be great for festival season if you know what I mean. All right. And it stays on pretty good because I can't get it off my hand. Let's talk about a couple of my favorite foundations that I've gotten this month, and I mean favorites, okay? So first is the YSL, and this is the um, Full Coverage Oil-Free 24-Hour Flawless Matte, and this is in porcelain. This color is super great. This does wear all day. It is buildable, so I would say if you want a full coverage and you don't want to build a whole lot, maybe not use this one, but if you're just looking for something that's going to wear all day that's really nice and smooth textured, definitely go for this one. The next one is the new Dior Forever Undercover, and this is the lightest color. 
So I'll just kind of show you. Lightest color YSL, lightest color Dior. It's a little bit on the dark side. However, this does wear really beautifully. So I mixed the two to get the perfect color for my face, but I am loving this. And of course it always smells good because they put roses in their stuff. Okay, let's stay on face for a minute. I know this is probably not new to any of you, but this is the setting, the setting powder by Dior. And I can't get any out of the fucking thing. Like I've tried it with a brush. I've tried it with a wet sponge and it's hard to get out of here. Why can't I get this out of here? Just saying, smells great, can't get it out. Now then, Fenty has a set that you can get for $20. This is my large one because I'm obsessed. I love the lip gloss. Um, it's got the big end on it and even the smaller one does too. So it uses a lot of product, I will say that, but it's a really good lipstick. Comes with a little mini highlighter, so if you've been wanting to try Fenty and you don't want to spend a whole bunch of money, Hustle baby. And they have Kilowatt too. The stuff is really, really good. I like Rihanna's highlighter. I say kudos to you, girl. That's a yes for me. All right, so let's go drugstore for a minute. Let's talk Maybelline. So they have these lips. You can put the lip on and then you can put the shimmer on it. And the lip, okay, the shimmer, it's an eyeshadow. Just use your eyeshadow. This is a no. This is a no for me. All right, next we have the Tarte Finger Paints. So pretty when you open it. It's so cute. It's got a mirror, but really the only colors I use are these two right here. That's it, because these are just like a cream shadow and I have tons of unique cream shadows. Not to say that I don't love them because they're really pigmented and they're really pretty, but maybe just borrow it from a friend Thanks, Tart. Cute packaging. Love your lippies. All right. Next, let's talk about something that has come back to Unique that has been sold out on back order forever. Okay? Forever. Let's talk about it. Unapologetic. This is my favorite fall color. This is my favorite all year color. This is my favorite cream shadow right here. Kind of like the one in the Tarte, to be honest. This thing is the bomb. It goes on the lid. You can what do they call that? A blend. You can blend it out. That's right. Blend it out. Beautifully. Okay. Love it. So get your cream shadows from Unique. All right. Um, next, I want to talk about a lippy from Unique. And it has been off of order for quite a while. And this is Stellar. The lippy Stellar. This is such a good nude. If you really like a darker nude, then definitely you want to go for this. It does kind of oxidize a little bit darker than what's in the tube but it's beautiful. Not just saying that because I sell it, it's because it's beautiful. Okay, next let's talk about their limited edition. If you did not get it, you are gonna be sad. This is casual in the powder to cream lip and it's literally powder. I did a review for that. Um, you can go back and watch my review of the Lip Crush. These are fabulous. If you didn't get them, you're really missing out. I'll be sad if they don't bring these back for the, for the spring and just be like, yeah. Just kidding, you guys can have them all the time. I'm gonna be sad, I'm gonna be broken. All right, Anastasia I know is not old, but I did just get vintage, and I gotta tell you, I do love this color. It's got a little bit of gold fleck in it, and it's so glossy and shiny, but it's a matte, and it's beautiful. So the Anastasias, I would say, go for it. I have another Anastasia. I'm just gonna stick with lips for a minute. And this one is Dusty Rose. I like it. It looks a lot like the first one that we swatched. Maybe I have a thing for these kinds of colors, but these are really good as well. And these are on sale right now. I'll go snag you up a couple. All right, so Smashbox has new colors. And these colors are smashing. Not even lying. This is such a good true metallic red. I'm just gonna swatch them for you. And they have metallics, they have mattes, and then they have satins. I'm telling you, these metallics are where it's at. So these two colors right here. And then I recently wanted to get Haterade and compare it. So I have Haterade, and then I have the mauve color. This is the mauve. Smashbox has really outdone themselves with their lips lately. So I wanna give a shout out to them. By the way guys, I'm not sponsored. These are just my reviews. This is just what I think. So I finally got my hand on some NARS and I went ahead and got the orgasm because 
<laughs> who doesn't want an orgasm and it's this one up here really pinky so if you're not into pinks you may not be into it another thing that has been on sale on the Sephora site is the buxom am I saying that right because I don't know they're lip plumpers and the mini set of 15 was dirt cheap so I got one for me and one for my stepmom for Christmas but it's still on sale so you can go and get it they have new ones too that are like um, lip plumpers but they're high gloss you need them you need them in your life so let's talk about Stilla and their new colors for spring talk about a festival love this purple has pink flecks gold flecks everything green you name it it's right here look how pretty that is guys I'm loving these eyeshadows. You definitely need to get them. I already had four of the other ones, the real high glitter, and these are just shimmer. So the difference in the glitter and the shimmer, but nevertheless, I love them. So next, let's talk about Makeup Forever because they have really changed their packaging. They've changed their eyeshadows and everything. And so these are some really good colors. They are highly pigmented. Like if you want to wear a purple, go for it because it's going to stay all day. I wear these a lot. They're good for transitioning, and they're good just to wear one color and fade up. Thank you, Makeup Forever, for doing that. You're the best. Okay, so I finally got the Too Faced Dipped in Chocolate, and I gotta say, I do like it. I'm actually wearing the color Rich Girl today on my lid, and it's so good. It's so creamy and pigmented, and it always has a mirror. So that's kind of what I love about Too Faced. You definitely, definitely should get the palette if you don't have it. It's one of those ones where, like, you really need it in your life. And then let's talk about this Too Faced since we're here. Too Faced, the diamond highlighter. I got to say, I was really, I don't know, I really wanted it when it first came out. But it swatches better than it wears. So maybe this is a nope for me. You know where that cord is at that has the bigger end I said I didn't need? I put it in your bag, the by the bed the one I didn't need yesterday mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure okay hey YouTube I have kids <laughs> <laughs> all right next I want to talk about another Sephora brand this is a white it's waterproof it's a contour it's a colorful shadow and liner but what I have to tell you about this is you don't have to use it for a shadow or a liner you could do it on the inner part of your eye let's just do that now let's just see if it makes me look whiter and younger let's use it now okay it does look cute like that but I'm using it on my eye and then if I'm putting a color on top of it it's making it pop so good so what I'm saying is is when you put the white color on your hand then you come over here say um, let's just do this lavish color from the palette here and we're just going to tap this pink on here and pack it on. And this is going to help it literally stay and be vibrant all day. So let's just look here. Looks, if you'll just keep packing, exactly like what's in the palette. So you need this palette. You need this stick. It's a waterproof stick. It's Sephora brand matte waterproof colorful crayon shadow and liner okay this is beast mode that's a yes yep okay next I want to talk about highlighters all right so let's talk about Kat Von D and the Metal Crush I've heard a lot of negativity about this but what I want to say is it's glitter she created a highlighter that's glitter because she already had the alchemist okay and it was just a light little highlighter, right? This is glitter. Stop complaining. That's what it's supposed to be. And it's badass. Let's find a place here. It's so badass. I'm going to say yes, I love it. Thank you, Kat, for creating glitter. Okay? So let's keep with glitter. Let's talk about Milk Brand for a minute. So I really like this on my hand. It looks really good. But to put it on your face, you have to apply it to your finger first, or it looks really cakey. So I want to say I do like it, but I don't like that it's cakey when it goes on, because cakey's not attractive. So keep working on it, okay? Make it where it's not. Love you. Next we have the Kevin, I can't say the last name, on coin, 
Prisma Highlighter Trilo, which is really beautiful. It goes on beautiful. I'm wearing it as the highlight on my eyes today and on my cheeks. So it's phenomenal. But I would say get your brush wet before you put it on because it'll be a little bit of fallout if you don't. So yes, but get your brush wet, okay? We're in the home stretch, we're almost done, and I'm sure you've gotten a commercial interruption by now. So let's keep going. We've got a few left. I'm trying not to let these dry on my hand because when they do, they're gonna stay all day. And I have to go to the dentist. Okay. Next, we have the Kat Von D Everlast Star Flyer, limited edition. It's limited edition because if you don't get it, you're not going to get it. It's going to run out. And I got the last one in the Sephora store where I live. So this is a really good color. I wore it the other day. If you don't follow my Facebook, you should because you can see it there. All right. So Kat Von D again has these um, color correcting eyeshadow primer sticks. And what I like to do for these is after I've done my makeup and you need to go back and clean up the lid, this is what I use. And then I pop my colors on top, or I pop my white on and pop my colors on top if I really want them to pop. So yes to this, and they're on sale. Let's go back to Milk, because they have the cutest thing I've ever seen on the market, especially for festival season. A heart and a star. I wear these a lot. My boss asked me if I had gotten a new tattoo, and I told him, no, honey, it's just a stamp. I'm not going to get a facial tattoo. So I'm like 65 and then yes I'm gonna do whatever I want with my body thank you these are a yes they have a heart a star a peace sign and something else but I can't remember what it is go and look it's at Sephora all right next everybody's been talking about the Tarte Park Avenue princess and I got it yes I did because why because I love a good bronze I gotta tell you what I don't necessarily like it for contouring, but I do like it for bronzing your face before you contour. I use the Kat Von D contour or the Unique contour. I also like the City Color contour palette just because I like the darker color in it. The light colors in here, though, that you have to go back through and highlight to make those spots look a little more, you know, not as bronze, I do love for that. So these two colors down here are my favorite. This is a yes for me. This is a dope. All right, a couple of things left. We're in the home stretch. You're going to miss me when I'm gone. Is the rose mask face. So I got to say, I thought, you know, I love rose petals. I love everything about this, but it doesn't really do much for me. Hydrating, I can just, I can just use my hydrating moisturizer. This mask is a nope for me. What is a yes for me is the Glam Glow, the new kind of like silver one, the unique oil control, and the unique exfoliating. My number one is the Dior. It is a little bit expensive, but it does help with your pores and it makes them kind of disappear. I have huge pores. So this is a definitely dope. I love Dior. Thank you. Next, I want to talk about the Too Faced Just Peachy Mattes. I've never really bought an all matte palette, but this palette does not disappoint. Full mirror, as always. The case is super cute. And the names are next to the colors, so I really like that too. These are my favorite. This is probably one of my favorite palettes right now. Thank you, Too Faced, for the mattes and the peaches. You're the best. All right. My second favorite palette, but you can't get it anymore because you missed out, we sold out, is the Moonstruck Beloved Palette by Unique. This product is totally amazing. So this is a purple color, plum, and then this is like a pinky maroon, regular pink, and then this color, look at the pink and the white and the holographic and the oh my god, I love this palette. Yes, you can see me wearing it on my Facebook page. Or Jin's Beauty Room because I do have a business page. Check that out because that's a definitely yes. If you can get into a buy, sell, and trade group where you can find one of those palettes, I would say go get it. You need it. All right. Next palette is the metal. It's the mini metal. I did not get the big one and I'm sad. I do not have the divine one yet, but I'm going to get the divine um, lipstick. So this is a nice mirror. Always has the script as usual. Full mattes and shimmers. So all the top are shimmer and all of these are mattes. 
and I love this palette too. I love everything about this. I love the color. I love the size. I love the opportunity, the matte and the shimmer. Thank you Kat Von D for that one. You're the best. Next is a new by Makeup Forever and let's give them a round of applause. Moment of silence. This palette is rad. I mean rad. Makeup Forever Starlit. This is a limited edition, so if you guys haven't picked this up yet or ordered it online, you're missing out. I love how it's got like the holographic here and it's got a mirror. You can see my house, look. So much makeup everywhere. <laughs> all right, this is an all glitter palette, so if you don't like glitter, I'm sorry. This color right here, it's pink, it's purple, it's gold, it's white, it's everything that you love. And the fifth color in this palette is my second favorite. Yum, peachy, pinky, so delicious bronze. I am loving this, okay? And then I'm going to show you this one for good measure because you need to know. All right, so this palette is a yes. It's definitely dope, and it's limited edition. So if you don't have this yet, get online, click, and get it, girl. Starlit Makeup Forever. This one's for you, okay? Now, am I missing anything? Am I forgetting anything? Oh, yes. Let me talk to you about my favorite new brush. So Luxie makes this brush. It is a 249. It's got the tapered kind of brush here, and then it's got the rounded blending brush. This is my favorite. I use this to get ready today. OMG. I also love my Luxie 207 medium angled shifting brush. This is my second fave. And then my third fave brush is by e.l.f. and it is a small smudge brush. Love this little guy. Another new brush that I got, let's talk about it. The Fan Brush Pro 65 Fan from Sephora. I love this brush. Sephora also just made a new brush. Let me find it. It's here. Trust me. And this one is for the lady that has hooded eyes and needs a small brush above that hood, okay? This is the Drawing Shadow Pro 41. It's the medium sized one. This, this brush is a force to be reckoned with, okay? So go get it. Last but not least, you know I've gotta talk about the Kat Von D's. Bitch, these are amazing. Whiteout is so flawless. I've got a lot of these. I got Ophelia, uh, lovely nude, all right. I also got Cathedral, mm, so fierce, yes. Um, OG Lolita, I've been waiting for this one. This is one of my fave lipsticks. They are so creamy and smooth and lovely. Um, let's see, I've got a couple more. Oh no, that's one I've had, that's the old formula. Lovecraft. Cha-ching. Yes. Perfect nude pink. Two more to go. I got Noble. I love the lighter nudie pink. It's so good. And last but not least, Agatha. When you're really feeling like springtime. So this is it. These are my dopes and nopes. These are my I'm on the fences. And you were here to witness. So... Um, drop me a comment below if you have um, any of these products that you love and tell me what you love most about them and um, tell me what you would like to see next as far as tutorials or videos and drop your questions below if you have any questions for me and I will do a get ready with me and answer your questions soon all right so thank you for watching my channel I do not have days that I upload because I'm an executive chef and I also run a paparazzi business and I also run unique business and I have a YouTube channel and I have a personal site I have a lot of things going on in my life but I try to upload at least two times a month I'm gonna try to do more more, I really need someone to help me edit videos and upload and do all that because these are just raw cut and here I am which is really how YouTube used to be so I'd like to go back to that but no judgment okay and I'll be going live after March when I get my stuff back and I don't have a strike anymore so stay true to yourself do good be good you are good you're beautiful and important and if nobody tells you today I love you bye